Welcome to ICS News. I'm Jing. And I'm Andrew. Today we bring you news from the most recent events and reports of our school. It's been quite busy with Camp Walktoberfest and ACSC tournaments all happening these past few weeks. Students were able to have a great time away from school for three days. So let's see some highlights of high school camp. We go to Andrew for more. Hi, this is Andrew Liu reporting for ICS News. This is High School Camp 2015. Let's go. And here we have a... Uh, I have no idea what this is. What, what is this game over here? This is Tug of War. Did you guys win? We won three out of four games, so yeah, we won. What was the most challenging thing you faced when you were playing these wonderful games? When we got there, we found out that we couldn't play water games. That was a shocker to us, and it was hard to like think of a think of what to do, but then in the end, it worked out, so that's good. And what was the most favorite thing you had? I think Luna and I enjoy the responsibility of being able to plan the house games and also the challenge of having to do it under supervision. Yeah. It's worship right now. Shh. In the same week, Marktoberfest happened on the following Saturday after camp. Students from kindergarten to high school all participated in Walkathon and the Fall Fair, promoting ICS spirit and unity in the process. We go to Emma for more. Hi, this is Emma Wong reporting from Walktoberfest 2015 for ICS News. Hi, it's Nicholas. So, uh, how was the walk? Well, the walk was great, although I was at station number three, so I didn't walk that far. Um, what's your favorite part of the Walktoberfest so far? Uh, I like the food. Matter of fact, that's where I'm going. Get the food right now. This is a great event for me uh, because it's a fundraising event as well as only for the families for gathering as well. Okay, um, what's your favorite part of Oktoberfest so far? The food, the food, the food! The, the food, food is pretty food. good! I like the food! The food. Since school started, there has been several discussions on the dress code policy at ICS. We have asked a few people for their opinions on the matter. We go to Amy for more on the story. I'm here with Karen to talk about the dress code policy. So, what are your opinions about the dress code policy? A lot of people don't like it, but I do. I think it's absolutely great. Um, I think it's great for the school, but the nail polish one, a lot of people don't think it's very necessary to have. It makes sense to me. The, the only thing I dislike about it is the sh black shoes rule where you get black, you get detention for not wearing black shoes, yeah. Um, are you and your peers aware of the dress code policy in ICS? Yeah, we get reminded about it every single day. Yeah, the teachers remind us almost every day. So, what are your opinions about the dress code? Well, I actually like the dress code. I think coming from my previous experiences, um, where they were allowed to wear anything and everything that they wanted to, um, I definitely think some kind of uh, structured dress code is, is good. I think we have a really great dress code. It's pretty lenient, and uh, the dress code actually looks pretty nice for Hong Kong from what I've seen. Um, how did you feel when a student came in with the wrong dress code? Well, I sort of feel they're disrespecting the school in some ways. Like, if I dressed in my pajamas, you'd be upset. I don't really have any emotion about it. I'm just kind of maybe wondering why they feel that they are entitled to wear whatever they want. This has been ICS News. Thank you for joining us, and remember to tune in next time. Stay, Stay cool, cool, ICS. ICS.